Welcome back to Great Gone Rogue, where we're still playing on Lizmi, the Shalor Alchemist in Tome, Tales of Majael. We are on one of the dungeons. Uh, ah, there it is in the upper corner, the maze, level two. So let's get straight into it. Ah, oh, that's right, I, uh, last episode, where did that guy come from? There we go. Why am I attacking with melee? That's much better. Uh, looks like last episode, I turned on the automatic casting of my shield. Where is... There we go. Oh, he's over here fighting the Minotaur. I should help him. In fact, is this the named Minotaur? Minotaur of the Labyrinth, ranked boss. I don't think he's the named, though. We're just going to ignore that. Do you... We agree that we are, we're going to ignore that. Okay, so that completes the maze. Vanquish the Min Minotaur. Oh, but we still have some stuff in here to take a look at. Steel Helm of Garkul? And a bunch of other stuff. Let's level up real quick. Three points there. Ooh, another... We can go another into alchemy. This is not a passive. Radius 3 pool of acid spawns at the target location. Doing 13.2 acid damage each turn for six turns. Also causes slowness. Okay, explosive... Let's see, your alchemist bombs now affect a radius of two around them. Oh, so it makes the, the bombs bigger. So I get one point of extra. What's the, the next golem that I get? Temporary melee power increase. Meh. Uh, I don't use my gems all that often. Uh, what's this one? Who's uh, golem's armor? Hmm, eh. Let's make the gems bigger. That way I'm more apt to actually use them more often. So what's the new stuff I get here? Defensive posture. Sustained. Adoptive defense posture. Creating your defense and armor by four. Interesting. And this is an activated gem portal. Crush five alchemist gems into dust to mark impassable terrain next to you. You enter it and appear on the other side of the obstacle up to ten grids away. Ooh! I go through walls. Wall walking. Um... I'm going to pick up the passive first, just because, like I said before, I like having passives um, when I can get them. There we go. Now let's take a look at our loot. Steel Helm of Garkul, I can't wear. Iron Plate of Fire Resistance, I'm not going to worry about. Uh, Iron Battle Axe of Crippling might be useful. And the reason for that is because, let's see what my golem is using. He's using Flesh Bear, the Great Steel. Yeah, I don't think this is going to... Yeah, definitely not better. Okay. Iron Plate. He cannot wear the, the Iron Plate yet. So there's absolutely nothing here that he could use. Good deal. Okay, what's the next thing? Three and four. Veal Skin Armor. Beam of Lightning. Beam of Lightning. I've got two things that give me beam, beam of Lightning now. Good to know. Defensive Posture. This is an active, so let's put this over by my actives. And let's continue on. Oh, one more thing that I have to do. I want to change your talents. Let's get him his strength and his constitution. Okay, that's all he gets on this level up. Now we can continue on. Um, yes. Hateful Steel Mace of Purging. Uh, nothing worth looking at. Okay, let's continue on. There 
we go, Mr. Gollum boy. Dwarven steel battle axe. Pyrelace. Pyrelace? Okay. See if that's better for my golem. Paradox. Oh. Dwarven steel. It actually has a lot more base power. Higher crit chance. Uh, but it loses the burst. I'm going to keep the burst. Ah. There we go. More lore. Elm Mage stuff. Nothing I'm worried about. Rough weather boots. Actually, what are my boots? Ah. Scholarly, I think I'm going to keep. What is Rolf? What is this, anyway? Topaz. Spellboy Scar. I'm not going to touch that for a Topaz. Sorry. And then I just walked into it, so... Eh, there we go. I wonder what that does. Oh! Additional fire and blight damage. And more critical. Okay. Well, good to know. For the future. Yeah. Let's open the chest. And stuff. This would be a good time for a gem. Okay, killed him. Use staff to use this spell. Why can't I use my staff? Because I have been disarmed for four turns. So I'm going to... My shield has already been used. Let's see this lightning, arcane damage. He did what to me? Arcane, nature, physical, bunch of physical. Um, Where is my... Phase door. There we go. Take that, you prick. Do I get my weapon back yet? No. There. Whew, that was not good. Let's rest up on that one. The steel war axe. Let's look at his axe again. A lot of times it's just comparing. Yeah. A lot worse. Void Elm Wand of Trap Destruction. Steel Armor. Now that my golem might be able to wear. Because he can wear steel mail. So, let's see. Better armor. A little more fatigue. He loses his, his damage on hit. He gains acid resistance, which is good, because I'm using... Um, I'm using acid. And he penetrates a bit on fire. And he gets 6% fire damage. I'll take it. Okay. And just a junky shield. Any place else in here? Teleporting circle to the surface. Let's head out. Who sell all of that junk? Okay, before I move any further, let's uh, transmogrify all of this stuff. go. And let's take a look at our journal. We still need the Old Forest, the Sandhorn Lair, and Daikara. Um, 
I happen to know where the sandworm layer is. It is right around this peninsula. Right there. Now, the sandworm layer is rather interesting in that there are these sandworm burrowers that go all over the place. And they're level 12, they have 10,000 hit points. You basically mm, don't want to kill these. It says the sandworm seems to not care about your presence at all and simply continues digging its way through the sand. This entire level, there we go, is very random in that you follow the sand burrowers, whoops, through the sand and the sand collapses behind you. Let's see where they where they go. So let's follow this guy down here. And I don't think you can actually um, get from there, there's the rooms are basically little pockets in the sand, and you can't get from one room to the next on your own. Ooh, that kind of hurt. So let's rest up here. So you see how how this room doesn't collapse, but the, the tunnels did. So you literally just have to follow these. Here, see how the one tunnel is collapsing as I'm following this one? So you have to follow these guys around. I uh, should be using a jam on this. go. Basic armor. Okay. Lore. And let's get those gems. And now I have to basically wait here until a sand burrower comes through. Now I could try to sneak. Yeah, there we go. So I could sneak through there. That goes back up to the, uh, the world above. So let's follow this guy go. Oops. And wait. I'm not at full health. So let's get a full health first. And then I will open this, uh, this chest. And that's why I did that. Get off of me. Wait, I can use another gem on this guy. There we go. Do I actually hurt my... Uh... No, he speeds up when I hit him. Yeah. He doesn't hurt, he gets sped up. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> Corrosive sh uh, Steel Shield of Acid Resistance. Okay, where is he going? Um, where did he go? Oh god, I gotta go through real quick. There we go. I... Uh, I think I can sneak through here. There. Don't think I can go this way. Nope, I could. Run in, run in. There we go. How to detect a spell weaver. Blah, 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 blah. More lore. Okay. Let's take a moment to level, as always. These three. I get one class point and one generic point. Okay, let's pick up the Caustic Mire. And what was this? Mm, no, I still don't want that. Increases weapon damage when using staves. So I maxed this out. What does this do again? Magical gems. Imbue body armor. 
items once, and it is permanent. Up to tier one. I don't know what tier one versus tier two gems are, so I'm not going to waste a, a point there. Yeah, let's put it into staff mastery. Well, no. You know what? I'm going to hold it. I'll hold on to it. There we go. Where's the caustic mire? There it is. Okay. Let me reorder these. I, I want my my class skills in a ro in a row. That way they uh, they're easily accessible. While these are going to reappear and disappear, helps with muscle memory. And let's wait a minute. Oh right, because I've got uh, I've got that one point left. While I'm waiting, let's actually change out his talents. He gets two more stats, and he gets another point. Let's see. Rushes the target, and here he taunts. I'm actually going to max out the rush uh, just to, to increase his damage. Um, I mean, he's got this. It'll help. So, uh, do you accept these changes? Yes. And let's wait. Oh, there we go. Unfortunately, can I make it through there? Yes, I can. Oof. That was not smart. This is not going to be smart either. Didn't think so. Step out. Okay, what is this? Surging Ash Vile Staff of Greater Warding. Is this better than no? Because I've I've got a named. And da, 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 a little more spell power. And I'm I'm good with what I've got. Can I sneak through here? Just barely. Okay, guys, where is the Oh, no. Don't know what that was. Can I pull up a larger menu? Or not menu, um, a larger map. Map is tab. Okay. I don't think I've ever done this before. So, I haven't seen up here yet. And that may be where the, the way down is. Let's follow this guy. Hope he turns that way. Nope. Okay, where's my golem? Do I have to regenerate him? Where's my regenerate? Refit golem. Yeah, I had to. He got. I think he got caught in a collapse. There we go. Let's follow this guy. Get the mouse pointer out of the way. Come on. Go through that upper corner. Not... Okay. Go down here. No. Ah, there's my my exit down. Okay. Are we at full health? Yes, we are. Let's open up the glowing chest. Okay, I can't cast the staff. Let's put down some acid here. Uh, no, actually, let's not. And say we did. Uh... Let's try lightning this way. And lightning again this way. What's this? Staff Master creates a gold of pure light. Blinds all who see it for three turns. I'll take it. Ah, I guess my golem was, uh, took care of it. 
Ash Totem of Thorny Skin. Good enough. So, let's head down to the next level. I don't believe there's anything here that I want. Let's see. Let's compare the, the, the two tor torques. I think they're identical. So yeah, uh, power 43, power 23 now. Steel Hate Therm Shield. 100% chance to regenerate 4 stamina. Hardened skin for 7 turns. And armor hardness by 40%. And this one is... Oh, I'll keep it. Well, this is not good. Okay. No. There we go. Let's get the dagger and the staff. And there's a cure. Oh, great. I think my golem is going to die. Oh, no. Nope. I snuck in. There we go. Well, looks like it's about the wrapping up point. So I'm going to pause here before I open this chest. And I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you tomorrow, or whenever the next video is posted. Have fun. Oh, wow. This whole time I have been running with a uh, defensive posture. Let's fix that. Now, I hope you had fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.